Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this glitch text build up animation in After Effects without using any third party plugin. So let's see how to make this. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and we'll begin by creating a new composition. So let's call this one main. Width and height will be 19, 20 by 1080, frame rate 30 FPS. Duration you can pick whatever you want. Just click on OK. So once you're done with this, let's quickly add a background. So right click new, let's add a solid and I'm going to make this one a little bit darker like this just click on ok perfect now let's add our text so for that just select the text tool now you can click and type whatever you want i'm going to type hello and it's completely up to you, you can use whatever font you want i'm using this montserrat font but it's completely up to you, you can pick whatever you want let me just quickly align this now let's scale this up quite a bit something like this yeah i think this looks good Perfect. So once you're done with this, we are ready to like convert this text into mask and then we will animate the mask itself. So if you want to ch make any changes to the text, if you want to like update it, then you can do it right now. Otherwise, you won't be able to do it later on. So once you're done with this, let's right click and let's go to create and let's create masks from text. Perfect. So here we have this. And if I press M, you can see we have all the masks that are present over here. Now we want each of these letters on individual layers. So for that, I'm going to select this and we have like five letters one two three four five and so i'm going to select this layer press ctrl d like four times so that we have five copies h e e h e l l o so i'm going to just select this layer press m and i'm going to delete all of these except the h so let's delete this and let's select this one and again press m and on this one i'm going to delete all of these except e and you know what we have to do over here again we are going to just delete all the things that we don't need so over here we can remove the L and the O's. There you go. Now we have deleted all the characters and we have the individual letters on each layer. So we are ready to animate these out. So first we are going to animate the edge. So for that I'm going to select this and just click on the stopwatch so that it will create a keyframe. Now I'm going to move it like really far and let's zoom in. And we are basically going to animate this. So first we can hold on the Alt key to select all of these endpoints and we can just move it out of this frame like that now we can move uh, something like five frames then we can just simply zoom in like that and after that you can just simply select any of these points so i'm holding down the shift key and just clicking on them so now we can just so let me just quickly select this one now we can just move it however we want something like that now let's move like a couple of frames ahead and we can probably select all of these points and let's just make them appear like that again let's move like a couple of these points and just place it over here and somewhere around here we can just move these closer and at last we want these to like come together so we already have a keyframe over here and i'm going to just make it close like that so here you can see we have created this sort of animation now we are going to do the same thing with all of the other letters as well so again let's add a keyframe let's move it like further away so we have this E. Now I want this to like come from the top. So I'm going to select all of these points and let's just move them to the top. Now we can make use of these keyframes. So let's go somewhere around here and let's start animating these points. So I'm going to only select the bottom part, which is this one. And let me just quickly grab it over here. Now we can select these points and let's make it come down and now we can move these to further apart and these can go down as well and at this point we can just start making them appear and at last we already have a keyframe to make it like perfect there you go now here we have our e and in the same way we are going to basically animate all of these other letters let me just quickly do that so before we proceed if you want to support my channel then you can check out my patreon page over there you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so make sure to check it out link for that is in the description now let's continue so now i have animated all of these characters let me just quickly play this out so here you can see we have this animation but it's not looking that good so we can to it further so let me just quickly select all of these keyframes press f9 to ease them now we can go to the graph editor now if your graph looks different make sure you are using the speed graph not the value graph now once you are inside the graph we can probably 
select these and I'm going to just make the graph to look something like that. Perfect. Now if I press play, you can see we have this animation. Now we can make it like a little bit more better. So all we have to do is just simply select all of these layers. Let's pre-compose them and let's call this text. Make sure move all attribute is set. Just click on OK. So now we have these copies and we basically want like multiple colors over here. So I'm going to select this, press Ctrl D and let's select the bottom one and like offset it by one frame and let's apply fill to this and just drag it over here now it's completely up to you. you can pick whatever color you want i'm going to pick yellow and we can select this press ctrl d and let's move one frame ahead and we can make this one red like that now if i press play you can see we are still able to see some colors and our next step is to like make it a little bit more glitchy so for that we can do one more thing so right click new let's add and let's add a solid and just click on ok on this one we are going to apply fractal noise and just drag it over here and under the soft linear i'm going to set this to block contrast i'm going to like increase all the way up and let's go into transform and i'm going to just scale this up complexity i'm going to set this to one so that we have these blocks now we basically want these blocks to like animate like this so for that we can go under the evolution we have this random seed option now you can hold on the alt key click on the stopwatch then you can type this expression time times 50 or 100 let's set this to 5 for now let's see how fast it is let's leave it to 5 for now perfect so we have this now we are going to use this to drive uh, another effect so right click let's create an adjustment layer and on this one i'm going to apply time displacement and let's drag it over here onto this adjustment layer now we don't need to see this dark background so we can hide it and under the time displacement we have this option for the layer selection and over here we are going to select the fractal noise layer which is this one make sure to effect and mask is check now you will notice that if i press play we are able to see something but it's not looking like much better so we can fix that by simply lowering down this value so instead of one i'm going to set this to like 0.1 so right now you can see we are able to see some glitches sort of thing and there's one more thing that you can do so if i select this you can see we have a bunch of different options now if i increase the complexity like a little bit like this then you can see we are able to see some more glitches and we can play around with the scale as well like we can make it like a little bit smaller to have more sort of glitches like this or you can like make it like a little bit larger if you want to have like less or like bigger glitches like that again this is completely up to you. you can just play around with these values and whatever you do over here it will be affected over here so if i increase the complexity like all the way up to let's say six so you can see that we have this very fine detailed glitch but for this one i'm going to just simply set this to 1.5 or something so that we have bigger chunks of glitches like that it's perfect so there are a lot of things that you can do right now so first let me just quickly add a null object and i'm going to parent all of these layers to the null and we can animate it scale and rotation to like give it a little bit of nicer move and i'm just quickly rotate it like that and let's just zoom it in now we can select the keyframes press f9 let's go to the graph and i'm gonna make it look something like that so we have this little bit of like revolving motion now this one more thing you can add an adjustment layer and on this one you can apply glow and let me just quickly drag it over here now i'm going to put this adjustment layer between these layers so that only the colored part has like glow now you can play around with these values however you want again it's completely up to you like this but if you don't want you can just simply skip this part perfect now we can add a little bit of more glitches to this so this is something that i really like to do and you can just simply add, add an adjustment layer and let's search for an effect called invert and let's drag it over here so it will invert everything out but we don't want we only want like a couple of frames so i'm going to select the shape tool and let's go to the very beginning and you can just simply 
draw a random mask like this now if i zoom in now we can like move a couple of frames ahead let's say two frames hold down press ctrl shift d to split the layer now you can double click on this mask and you can just play around with it and just move it here and there again like move a couple of frames ahead ctrl shift d let's select this and let's just place it over here just keep on doing this till you have like some random places so there we have added our glitches now if i press play you can see it will like add a little bit of more to this animation perfect now this is how you can create these kind of glitchy text reveal animation so i hope you learned something from this video the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you are supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you are not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one